down your music! I've been looking for a new roommate, so I decided to look off Craigslist. I mean, I want to find someone who's different from myself and with a unique personality. So I found Michelle online, and I thought we'd really hit it off. However, over the past few weeks, I don't know if it's really going to work out. because, well, Michelle doesn't really do her laundry or really take showers, but I guess it's kind of a lifestyle choice. I guess she could be a hippie. So, um, it seems like Excelsior was written by Walt Whitman, but there's also another poem called The Same by Henry Longfellow. Oh, okay, we can put that citation in the footnote. Yeah. Okay. Good. What's that smell? Um, it smells like something died in like a lavender field. Yeah, that's my roommate Michelle. I tried to make it better, but I think I just made it worse. I always ask her to go to the gym with me, but she always likes to go jogging at night. She must have some really good jogging buddies. she looks, Michelle may seem like an antisocial person, but she brings over friends sometimes. But then there's all this screaming and squealing. Well, I guess we must be having a good time. <laughs> So what are you going for in school? Maybe I'm doing some things that upset you, and you're doing some things that upset me? 
What do you think? <clears throat> oh, okay, but I don't know. Do you think there's something we can do to make this situation work? <sighs> that really means a lot that you said that, Michelle. So you really think we'll be able to be roommates from now on? <clears throat> oh, Michelle, that means a lot. Okay, thanks, Michelle. Thanks. Michelle and I have been roommates for three months now, and I really think we're starting to hit it off. We've been hanging out, sharing things. It's been really great. Ugh, brains. Oh, Michelle, not today. Yeah. I really think we're going to be lifelong friends. 